Hi, welcome back to another video. So today I'm just bringing you guys a really simple dry mix video. Now I have been working on a lot of homemade Christmas gifts this year and um, I wanted to do something a little different. Um, I know a lot of people do this, but I personally have not, haven't done this in quite a few years and um, I decided to bring you guys a dry mix video. Now I do have a I do have another dry mix video that I will link, um, but it wasn't for Christmas gifts. It was just for like on your pantry shelf. So um, if you guys like this type of video, let me know in the comments. I have ideas for a few more of these videos, so you might see a few more, but let me know if this is interesting to you. Today, I'm gonna be just doing a really basic chocolate chip oat cookie. Um, and then to kind of give it a little bit of a Christmas flair that I want, I'm just going to add um, crushed candy canes to the mix. So um, let me bring you down close, show you what I'm doing. This is really simple. I will add everything in the description below that I do as well as the instructions. And yeah, um, anyone can do this and it makes a really sweet homemade Christmas gift. So. I hope you guys will give this a try and let's show you how I do this. All right, so first thing is we are gonna be adding um, our flour. So we're gonna do flour and then to the flour, we're gonna add two things. We are going to add our salt And then also to the flour, we are going to add our baking soda. Now this recipe makes about a dozen cookies. Depending on the size, if you do them smaller, then you'll probably get more like a dozen and a half. So now I'm just gonna take a fork and mix those two ingredients really well into the flour. And then we're going to set this aside. This next step is kind of important because you want it to look pretty in the jar and you really don't want to add your flour on top of like the chocolate chips. So we're gonna add this in a certain order just to make sure the flour doesn't bleed. Um, so first we're going to add our chocolate chips. I'm gonna get my little canyon funnel because okay. Okay, and then next we're gonna add uh, brown sugar. Now the brown sugar is going to kind of help um, give it because uh, you can pack brown sugar, so it'll kind of give it that like barrier that the flour and oats need. So we're gonna do our brown sugar next. Um, I don't quite need a cup of brown sugar, so. Okay, so we're gonna kind of spread that evenly. I'm gonna kind of lightly pack it down. Okay, and then next we're going to put our oats in. Okay, and then the final step, we are going to add our flour, baking soda, and salt, which that I pre-mixed. You wanna do this because you're gonna be pouring everything out at once, and you want everything well combined in that department. So, put our funnel on, and we are going to add our flour. Look how cute that is. Okay, we got two more steps. Okay, so next I have two candy canes in a bag and we're just gonna kind of crush them. Kind of break them up pretty well. I got my son sleeping, so um, let's see how quiet we can be. I'm gonna go do the rest outside. It's a little too loud. 
Okay, so I'm actually gonna transfer this to a new bag because it put little holes in there when you smash it. And I don't want it to. So you could either add this to the batter of chocolate chips or you, I just sprinkle it on top. But I like the peppermint chocolate flavor. Okay. And then we're gonna fold this up really well. And we are gonna add it to the top of our dry mix. That way people can put it on their cookies. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? The glare, sorry, the lighting's kind of bad today. But um, I'm just so happy with this, it's so cute. We put the candy canes in the little bag on top and now we're going to put a little bow around it with instructions on what to do um, for when they go and bake it. So I really, really love this. This is gonna be such a fun Christmas gift idea. I have this uh, tool. I don't really have any Christmas servants, so I'm just trying to really use what I have on hand, make this affordable for Christmas gifts. So I have this tool, I'm gonna make a bow out of it, or a ribbon out of it, I mean. Okay, so I just put add liquids, one stick melted butter, one large egg, two teaspoons of vanilla, bake at 350, eight to 10 minutes. And now we're gonna put our little, obviously you could do more of a Christmassy ribbon. I look cuter. Hey, there we go. I absolutely love how this turned out. Okay, so here it is. So cute. I love the tool. I'll link that. Um, I just got that off of Amazon. I like to do gift baskets every once in a while for like either someone for a wedding or um, I'm gonna be doing, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna add this to, um, my cousin just got engaged. I'm gonna add this to her engagement gift. So I might take the little Christmas sign off, but they just got engaged, so it can be both. But um, I'm gonna make a little engagement basket. I'll put, um, if I get it done before I edit this video, I'll put a picture, but let me put the pictures of the two gift um, baskets I've done recently. Um, I really enjoy making gift baskets, and I really enjoy doing stuff like this. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing more dry mixes if uh, dry mixes interest you, let me know in the comments. I will definitely do more. I'm probably at least gonna do one more before Christmas, so look out for that video. But um, just a really simple, I got this jar um, at like a bargain store we have in town for $2, so pretty good deal. And then just the cost of um, the food, obviously. So, so I will put everything, all the instructions in the description below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple, fast video. And I hope you guys will do some homemade gifts this year. It does really help with the budget if you're trying to save a little bit of money. So, and it's really thoughtful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.